Welcome. With the recent launch of the Intel 13th generation CPUs, I decided to upgrade my rig. One of the many things I carried over from my previous rig is the RAM. I thought it might be a good idea to overclock and tune the RAM to increase the system's overall performance. I paired the Core i5-13600K with the ASRock Steel Legend Z690 motherboard and Crucial Ballistics 32GB DDR4-3600 RAM. The type of DDR4 used in this kit is Micron B-Die. It is important to know the type of RAM you have so that you can search the web for the characteristics of the RAM. In my case, I used the Micron B-Die thread over at Hardware Lux, which has a few examples of overclock timings that help me in dialing in my overclock. I was able to overclock the RAM to DDR4-4000 CL16 with Titan timings. Here are my timings compared to the XMP profile. All the timings are the same or improved while adding 11% to the frequency. This was done with the BIOS DRAM voltage set to 1.38 volts, but the voltage in Hardware Intro 64 shows the voltage as 1.36 volts. One important thing in memory overclocking is stability testing. An unstable system can lead to bad things happening, such as blue screens or even corrupting your operating system. This has happened to me before, luckily. I always back up important files. For stability testing, I used the TestMem5 program with the Anta 777 Absolute preset. I configured this program to run 12 cycles, which ends up taking a little over 8 hours on my 32GB kit of RAM. The test completed with no errors after many hours of tuning. Here is the test system. The CPU is overclocked and undervolted in each test. While the RAM configuration changes from stock 2666CL19 to the 3600CL16 XMP profile to the 4000CL16 profile I created with tuned timings. Here are some benchmarks. In the Intel memory latency checker, the stock configuration had a bandwidth of 39,000 and the latency in the 60s. With the XMP profile, the bandwidth increased to 52,000, an improvement of 34% compared to the stock setting, with a latency in the 50s. With the RAM overclocked and timings tuned, the bandwidth increased to 62,000, an improvement of 18% versus the XMP profile, with a latency now in the 40s. In Y-Cruncher, the stock RAM configuration completed the 2.5 billion decimal calculation in 115.7 seconds. With the XMP profile enabled, the calculation was completed in 92 seconds, a reduction of 23 seconds compared to the stock RAM. And with the memory overclocked and tuned, the calculation completes in 83 seconds, which is a further 9 seconds shaved off the XMP time. In SuperPi, the RAM at stock settings completed the benchmark in 331 seconds. With the XMP profile, the time was reduced to 317 seconds. And with the RAM overclocked and tuned, the benchmark completes in 310 seconds. Here are some gaming benchmarks. I use 1080p at low or lowest preset, as higher settings at 1080p only showed small differences in the games I tested. I used an overclocked RTX 3060 Ti as the GPU. In the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark, with the stock RAM at 1080p lowest settings, the average FPS was 221 and the CPU render average was 528. With the XMP profile, this improves to a 255 FPS average and a CPU render average of 585. That's a 15% increase for the average FPS. And with the tune RAM at DDR4-4000, the average FPS improves to 273, with the CPU render average increasing to 628. That is a 23% increase over the stock RAM and a 7% increase over the XMP profile. In the Borderlands 3 benchmark, the average FPS of the stock RAM was 187 FPS. This improves to 211 FPS for the XMP profile, an improvement of nearly 13% over the stock RAM. 
With the tuned RAM at DDR4-4000, the FPS average improves to 236, a 26% increase over the SOC RAM, and a 12% increase over the XMP profile. In the end, making some adjustments to the DDR4 timings in the BIOS has led to a better experience than using default settings. With my current settings, the DDR4 runs faster than the XMP profile, while the DRAM voltage was only slightly increased from 1.35 to 1.38. Tuning the RAM was a bit tedious, but it feels nice to get extra performance out of this kit of RAM.